Hi there, I'm Zap Layden, and today we're going to look at how to make a halftone effect in Adobe Illustrator. There are a variety of different ways to create halftone effects. In this video, we'll be looking at a way to do this with Illustrator effects. When creating halftone effects, I found that it's a good idea to use artwork that has bold lines. Today, I'll be using this illustration, which I prepared earlier. You can apply this technique to any image you want to work on. Just make sure the image is a grayscale image. For this drawing, I have the lines and filled areas on separate layers. We'll be using the fill areas to create our halftone patterns. First, let's start off with the shadows. I'll do this by selecting one of the shadows, then holding down Shift as I select each of the shadows I want to use. Now with all the shadows selected, we'll go to Effects, Pixelate, Color Halftone. This will bring up the Color Halftone dialog window. The max radius will determine the max size of each circle. You'll want to adjust these settings to suit your needs, which will vary depending on the size of the image and the look you're going for. Once you put your settings in, press OK. Now you'll see the halftone effect has been applied to the shadows. Let's go ahead and do the same for the hair. As the hair is a gradient, you will find that the halftone will change based on the value, meaning the circles will get smaller and more spaced out with the lighter values. Again, let's go to Effects, Pixelate, Color Halftone. I want the dots to be larger on the hair to differentiate it from the shadows, so the settings I put in this time will be a bit different. Again, like before, press OK to apply the halftone. If you aren't happy with the results, you can undo the effect and try different settings, or adjust the gradients before applying the effect. There will be a little trial and error based on what look you're trying to achieve. And there you have it. You should have everything you need to start creating your own halftone images in Illustrator. We hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.